Do you guys remember a couple weeks back? We checked out the new figurines available. Official figurines from three houses. Well, some of you guys, I'm not gonna call you guys out, but um, um if you guys go in the comment section, sort of quite a few people were like, but why Bernadetta? Why Edo Guard? Obviously, those people didn't watch the video because, as mentioned, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Dimitri, and Felix figurines are now officially available. Hey, look at Dimitri. By the way, the writer is Stephanie Liu, and, um, should I even mention this? I think I went to middle school with her. <laughs> she doesn't know it. Because, well, as a VTuber, she doesn't know who I am, but I'm, that's the other thing about this article, by the way. I'm pretty sure I went to middle school with this girl. Um, so yeah, that's something else. Anyways, I'm, I'm not going to talk more about that. Good Smile Company has released the next set of Fire Emblem Three Houses pop-up parade figurines with Dimitri and Felix taking the spotlight this time. Like the previous Edogar and Bernadette figures, they will appear as they do in the Academy chapters when they are students at the monastery. Both figurines are available for pre-order until August 17, 2022. I'm pretty sure Edogar and Bernadette are still available for pre-order as well. We'll see in a moment. They'll come out in Japan in November 2022 and North America in February 2023. Yeah. Edogard and Dimitri, sorry, Edogard and Bernadetta will come out before December so they can make good presents. And yeah. Look at the price chat. It's actually legit. Like other pop up parade figurines, you'll not be able to change the pose or face plates, but both stand at approximately 18 centimeters in height. That's actually pretty big for a figurine. The Fire Emblem Three House Dimitri figurine has him standing with his legs somewhat apart. Stephanie. Why would you write that? <laughs> okay. His blue cape billows behind him, either from his own movement or the wind. He will cost $35.99. Yep. So just like the first set of figurines, it's very affordable. Anyways, uh, we'll look at these specifically in a moment. So the reason why I say this is she looks familiar. And yeah, she's Canadian. And I knew a girl back in middle school called Stephanie Liu. Anyways. It'd be kind of awkward if she figures out who I am now that I'm a VTuber. <laughs> All right, with well, that said, let's move on and see the figurines for, for what they are. Pop up parade, Dimitri Alexander Bledied. Bledied? Listen, I'm, I was in the. I'm not gonna talk about my preferences in terms of the three house leaders. You never had a chance. All right. So, this is the first one. What do you guys think? I think it's fine, honestly. He's really stern. And I think they got a lot of the details down, down pack. We'll check out the artist in a moment. But yeah, look at his eyes. Really stern. His hair. His hair. Ooh, his hair is lacking a bit of detail that I would have wanted. But it's kind of hard because the stranding of the hair. But the rigidity of it all. That definitely looks and feels like Dimitri. His cape looks fine to me. His pants kind of creased up. Look fine to me. He is a really tall dude. In Academy Arc, he's already pretty tall. Well, not, some people will say not that tall, but for me, he's pretty tall. As, as a whole, once he's fully grown, he's actually one of the large, uh, biggest characters. Or tallest, sorry, not biggest. Anyways, the Steel Greaves look pretty nice as well. The sword. The sword. Sword looks fine, I guess. All right. Back shot. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, the problem with having the cape is that it covers the cheeks. And I know some of you guys want the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so real quick, comes out 2022, uh, December. Wait, why did she say February? Oh, sorry, this is a Japanese release date. My bad. Let's see, 4,800 yen is $44.71 Canadian. Yeah, this is affordable. All these figurines are pretty affordable. So if you guys are looking forward to a figurine and you're a fan of Edogar, Dimitri, Felix, or Bernadetta, these are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, his face just feels slightly off. I really feel like they did a better job on both Edogard and Bernadetta over Felix. Sorry, Dimitri. I, we haven't seen Felix. I'm thinking about seeing Felix. But yeah, it's not bad though. It's really affordable ultimately. So if you're a fan and you want an official figurine of Dimitri, he's now available. Anyways, pre-orders will be open from July 14th, which has already happened, until August 18th. Fair enough. I'm going to double check on Bernadetta. Bernadetta is until August 18th as well. So yeah, Bernadetta and Edelgard are still up for pre-orders. Let's move to Felix. <laughs> Why am I even here? All right, Felix Hugo Fraldarius. I'm sorry for butchering it. 
Anyways, from five and three houses comes second set of figurines, this time featuring two characters from Blue Lions. Felix of the Blue Lions has been captured in pop up parade form in a noble standing posture. Yeah. Hmm. I think this is my least favorite figurine thus far of the Forable series. Is it me or is this really plain? What do you guys think of Felix? Mm. Yeah, if you rate it out of 10, what would you give Felix, chat? To be clear, I would give it to Dimitri 7.5 out of 10. I just feel like his face needed a bit more work. And it's not super detailed because they're not supposed to be, right? The art, these are supposed to be affordable, so the, the printing process can't be that accurate. Ultimately, you just don't want paint in the wrong areas and you want things to look good enough, especially from afar. They're, these aren't really figurines you're supposed to keep up close because you'll just notice a lot more errors with them. But yeah, Felix... At least with Dimitri, with his cloak, uh, not cloak, his cape, I guess. Cloak would have been cooler, but eh. And his dress, like, it's, it has a lot more detail. With Felix, it's a lot more plain because of the shirt. It's still Felix, of course. But the posture is not that dynamic. He's kind of pushing his hip hip out to one side. And the face, the face detailing. Mm. It does look like Felix, though. Uh, but I have to say, I think this is my least favorite one thus far. Oh! But you get the cheeks. <laughs> you get the cheeks, though. He costs exactly the same as Dimitri at 4,800 4, yen. So, yeah. I think from the back, he looks a lot better. That's a... Uh, those are some tight, tight pants. That's all I got to say. Sculptor, Nekonama Ikuri is the sculptor. Yeah, I feel like the face needs a bit more detail. That's all I think. Let's go back to Dimitri for a moment because I forgot to tell you the sculptor. Also, Nekonama Ikuri. Oh, that's interesting. Edogard and Bernadetta were not the same sculptors. Manabu Kato was for Edogard. I really like Edogards, of course. And Bernadetta was... Hidetoshi Nishibu. So it's really interesting to have Dimitri and Felix be made by the same sculptor. But I definitely think they made it... They did a better job on... Dimitri. I think Dimitri is more worthwhile. There's a lot more detailing. And they both don't have very expressive faces, so that doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, this is 180 millimeters in height. So, hmm. How many of you guys really like Felix that much? Interestingly enough, Felix is not a normal character in Fire Heroes yet, so weird, huh? He's also 180 millimeters. Yeah, but I, I think you get much more for your money's worth if it's for Dimitri. Even if you do get some nice cheeks. Anyways, let me know. Are you guys going to get any of these? I am still really torn. I really want to buy Edelgard and Bernadetta. By the way, if you buy them together, you can combine shipping. So you can save a bit of money there. I believe Edelgard and Bernadetta cost more as well. I'm going to double check. No, they're, no, they don't. They're the same thing. 4,800 yen. But yeah, I'm still leaning towards getting the Black Egos over Blue Lions. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is a great deal. When it comes to like officially licensed three houses figurines or farm figurines in general, these are among the most inexpensive. That's relative, of course. Like $35, $36, that's not inexpensive for everybody. But I can highly recommend these. Anyways, that's that.